welcome back to Talk With Naya. So let's start off with Doja Cat. So Doja Cat shares her next album title and she says that it's going to be called Hellmouth. Interesting choice for a name. Now, are y'all excited for Doja Cat to put out some new music? Doja Cat also shared that she got her breast done and her private part bedazzled. Somebody go let me know what's going on with Doja. All right, now speaking of new music, Nivea is putting out a new single on Friday called Killa. Do y'all remember Nivea? She had some hits back in the day, and she's also on the dating show with Evelyn Lozada and Tamar Braxton right now. Now, it also looks like Sweetie and Baby Tay are cooking up some new music as well. They shared a video playing a snippet of the song, and the song is going to be called Hey Mickey, and it's coming out on Friday too. So are y'all ready? For new music from them now let's get into something else is ice spice and lotto beefing still well fans seem to think that this video of ice spice is throwing shots at lotto because of the lyrics listen to this i'm the ice phone you the no kia ain't body no you jealous bitch is so clear now lotto is also seen doing the show doing the same move that ice spice does the same pose so people still continue to think that Lotto is copying Ice Spice. So what do y'all think about that whole situation? Now, speaking of Lotto, Lotto did share she was on social media because she has to do community service about this whole gun charge thing and all of that. Did y'all hear about that? So yeah, Lotto got to do some community service and she addressed this on social media. How it wasn't no big, serious, violent thing. She was just carrying a gun, I think in an airport at LAX airport or whatever. And she got in trouble for that, all right? I, I need y'all to go look up my catalog. I don't know, like, y'all forgot or it's, like, new fans. Y'all don't, y'all not familiar. The fuck? Chicken rum. That shit blowing me. Damn. Y'all be down my dick. About some, soon as I respond, I'm bothered though. Now, nah, bitch, I'm just letting you know you got this story wrong. I'm not gangster. Bitch, you never claimed to be gangster. I'm not gangster. Maybe I get money. The fuck? I got a nigga who suck these toes every. Eat this ass from the back. I cook. I'm a whole housewife. I'm not no gangster. The fuck? Who wanna brag on going? The fuck? I got million dollar deals. S -s 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 -appear, like plural. Like, yeah, multiple million dollar deals on the table. The fuck? Who trying to. Somebody trying to push no fucking gangster image? The fuck? Now let's move on to SZA. So SZA's album may be one of the strongest and favorite candidates to win Album of the Year for the 2024 Grammys. So do you guys think that SZA is taking home a Grammy next year? I definitely think she should be nominated. So we'll see how that goes because the Grammys can definitely go left. Now let's talk about Young Jock. So Young Jock wasn't too excited to interview with Megan James when she asked him how he managed to sustain a 20 year career off of one hit. Listen to what he had to say about it. Jock, how have you been able to sustain like a like what 20 year career off of one hit? Great question. Well, I got more than one hit. I got hit records. Well, ooh, tell me about them. Oh, yeah, boy. Ooh, shout out to Winnie and Ain't the Man. She's talking about some, how you been able to sustain for 20 years with one hit. I was like, damn. Shout hit me so below the belt. I was like, damn, look, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even come here to interview with your ass today. You know what I mean? I really I really came to assist somebody else, and they asked me about them. As soon as she hit me with the first question, I wanted to just be like, girl, stop playing with me. But then I said, you know what? Nah, I'm going I'm to break it down for you. You know what I'm saying? I just commenced to, commenced to answer the question for her. But I don't even feel no shade by it. People been shading me. This ain't nothing new. It's just y'all got a chance to see it from somebody y'all may not be as familiar with. So it's like, oh, you have a nerve. And I said the same thing. <laughs> but it's what it is, you know. And I see when she compared herself to Funny Marco. You know, Funny Marco, that's my Brody. He got a different approach to how he do. It's a science to it. Not saying she ain't got no science to hers, but it was just real, like. And then she could have just been asking a valid point. Now, Megan also went to social media to apologize to Young Jock 
and said that she really just wanted to know how he was able to stay so relevant throughout the years and didn't mean any disrespect. Now, lastly, I want to talk about Coco Jones. So she went to see Jennifer Hudson on Jennifer Hudson's show and they spoke about how a lot of people think they look alike. Do you think these two look alike? I could see a resemblance. They could be cousins. And also Coco Jones spoke about how she felt misunderstood when she was younger and how she was mismanaged in regards to her career. Listen to what she had to say. Do we look alike to y'all? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get that a lot? I get that so often that honestly at this point, I just play into it. I'm like, and I you. I'm like, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I get that this so much. And then people say, who would you want to play you? And then I keep seeing your name pop up. Stop playing with me I'm because you saying. know, I'm ready. At this point. <laughs> you hear this? I, I adore you. I love it so much. But I get people saying that all the time. They be like, she's somebody. Are you Coco Jones? I don't tell them I'm Jennifer Hudson. But I be like, Coco Jones, no, but thank you. <laughs> and they be like, she's somebody. Child, I don't know. <laughs> I am crying. No, honestly, I take it as such a compliment. Because yes. you know you have been so impactful in thank my life. You. Just watching you, another beautiful, dark-skinned woman, just killing it. Thank like, you. That's my motivation. Thanks to you. Thank you so much for that. Now, tell me this. You said you feel misunderstood coming up in the industry. What does mm -hmm. that mean? Well, I mean, I was very young. When I, when I really had, like, my first peak of success with Let It Shine, I was, like, 14. Mm -hmm. And so, per Let It Shine, we love Roxy. Yeah. Always will. <laughs> um, I think at the time, there was a lot of, like, ideas of what I could be, but no real way of knowing how to execute that when I'm a black girl. Like, I feel like there were a lot of formulas that were, like, that would work for someone that didn't look like me. Mm. And so, like, they would give me songs to sing, and I'd be like, okay, and then I'd eat them up, and they'd be like, not like that, you know? But I'm like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do, you know? I just feel like at the time, they just didn't know how to market me, and that's kind of what they told me, too. But, you know, it's all in God's timing. Yeah, and you I don't even think I was ready lane. at that time. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what you've done. You've created your own lane. That's and right. you're paving the way for so many Thank others. You. Which you're doing you. I'm trying to be job. like you. You're, I'm glad I could be an inspiration <laughs> in some oh, ways. Most definitely. And that is all that I have for today, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.